Hi, welcome to this nerve research lecture on which we will start the processes of hearing. And what is the hearing? What is the sound first? Let's check it first. So we can understand it as, as a change in the air pressure. When I speak, there's air coming from our, my lungs and it will increase the pressure in the air or other substance. So if I speak underwater, I will increase the pressure in the water. But the air, in, in the air, it is much easier. And then the idea that when we have a sound, its amplitude and, and, and the shapes like a sine wave. So there's a time you have up and down on the sine wave and if you have another sound it goes up and down a little bit with a different rate. So the wavelength can be shorter or longer and therefore you have more or less these waves per second. And if you have several waves per second, you have high voice. Okay, but the natural sound, like my voice, they are nothing to do with these scene waves. They might look like a piano. And this, we can see that there are 440 hertz that is uh, increased, but also other frequencies exist in these natural sounds. We can make it a little bit easier with a tuner. So when we are testing Okay, we were able to hear even small steps. So when the, the frequency was decreased by one, so instead of 440 ups and downs per second, you only have one less and we can hear it. And it's much less than the next key in the piano. But what is then the frequencies that we humans, we can hear? It's a very wide range. Or everything from the 20 hertz, so 20 times per second, to 20 kilohertz, so 20,000 times per second. And how do they look and how we can hear them? Okay, let's have a piano. Four hundred forty hertz, that's one hundred ten hertz. Okay, I should have a longer piano, but I can modulate fifty hertz, twenty five hertz. We can still clearly hear it. What about then when going on the other direction? So, the 1760 is quite easy to, to detect. It's not so very high, but we can hear even higher frequencies, like 3000, so 3 kilohertz, or 7 kilohertz. And we can even hear 14 kilohertz, quite clearly, or at least you can. And the interesting thing is that these high frequencies from the 2 kilohertz to 5 kilohertz, we are boosting by 100 times with our 
outer air. And that is the simple reason why we get the problems in these areas when we get older or when we are getting too high volumes because we are boosting these frequencies but then how we can detect the other uh, frequencies and even this is something that we have to use a microscope to understand <laughs>